We're uh, digging deeper into the case of a 25-year-old woman shot and killed by police in Salem. People who saw it happen are questioning if that shooting was necessary. Cor Harlan went to find out more. He may not have seen everything that happened here Friday night, but a neighbor who lives right across the street from Eastgate Basin Park claims to have seen enough to at the very least raise some troubling questions for the family of 25-year-old Jacqueline Ford, who was shot and killed by police here Friday night. Michael Shelley tells me he watched as Jacqueline Ford ran from a traffic stop into nearby Eastgate Basin Park in Salem. Shelley tells me the police dog chased Ford down in the park and started attacking her. I asked Michael if he thought the attack by the police dog was enough to get Ford to give up. The dog was up on his hind legs and he had something in his grasp. I don't think it was the officer because she was yelling, ouch, stop, that hurts, let go. After being attacked by the police dog, Shelley says Jacqueline Ford got back on her feet somehow with what appeared to be an injured right arm. That was just before she was shot and killed by Salem police officer Trevor Morrison. And her mom is telling you she's right-handed, so she would have, if she would have had a weapon, a knife, a weapon, or anything, it would have been with the right hand, and you're telling me her right hand was just hanging at her it side. It was just hanging at her side, my, you know, and I believe my brother saw the same thing because... It did not look like she could use that arm at all. Specifically, uh, even even an allegation from the neighbor who says that uh, he saw the police dog bring this woman to the ground. Can you comment on that at all? The Marion County District Attorney's Office is still assembling all the facts and interviews in this case. It would not answer any questions with specifics about what happened Friday night. In Salem, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. The officer in this case is on paid leave right now while Oregon State Police take over that investigation.